walking out. Turnaround shot is off the body and yeah, goes yeah. wide. Goaltender just got. Now Crosby yeah, yeah. banks it in. Is this going to count? It is. If it does, it's it, number 400 for Sidney Crosby. You can't believe what happened here, guys. The officials are going to talk. The goaltender got bowled over in the crease. Sidney Crosby gets the puck in the corner and blasts it off Kincaid's head and into the net. Kincaid was always already down and shaken up as Ole Mata went in there and Sidney Crosby saw him down and blasted it right off his mask and in. Wow. Is he taking a dive? Whose stick is that? And did Mata even touch him? And there's Sidney Crosby shooting the puck off Kincaid when he's down. Now Mata's in there. Here's the stick of rust that comes across. And Russ stick comes across, knocks Kincaid down, and Crosby knocks it off the top of his dome and in the net. And so they called no goal here, and we may have. Well, we have an injured goaltender right now. I can tell you that, Mears, because that not only the stick hit him, but the Crosby shot hit him. You don't see a goaltender get hit where he got hit there. That's There's true. the stick, and he's down on the ice, and Crosby shoots his puck, and that is. Wow, you can't, you can't imagine the ringing in your head after that puck's going to strike you in that situation. But you see the stick of rust come across there, certainly strike the netminder, King Cade. It was interesting because the stick of rust was being lifted there by Ben Lovejoy. Much like we see, saw James Neal the other night, his stick was lifted by Buffalo, and Neal broke his stick, as you can recall. And there was a challenge, and the goal was allowed to stay. The goal was allowed to stand, even though James Neal's stick had struck the goaltender in the mask. And this is a very similar situation with Lovejoy lifting the stick of rust. And, uh, you know, for you folks that saw that the other night, there was a lot of discussion as to whether that was goaltender interference or not right now. Mike Sullivan's asking the same thing here. Let's take a look at the overhead. Now, it's not Mata, it's going to be Russ coming to your picture. Stick is being lifted. Did Lovejoy lift the stick of Rust into the mask of Kincaid? And then the shot by Crosby. So we're going to have a challenge. And you know what was interesting here with this challenge is Mike Sullivan, he got to plead his case to the official prior to the challenge right. here, Mirzi, which is really interesting to me because he, he, he said what he saw. You don't normally see that at all. And, and, and how does that affect and play into the decision of the official now when he looks at the monitor in the penalty box? Also, about, how about the factor of a goalie who's clearly shaken up there? Yes. I mean, that factors in as well. An apparent injury for Keith Kincaid as he was down and in some pain. And then the shot comes in from Crosby off the top of his head. We've seen Crosby score against Lundquist off the side of his mask in New York. And there, he's not trying to hit him in the head, but he's down on the ice after he was struck by a stick here. And, you know, I can't tell you right now if he's embellishing this or not. That I don't know, but I can tell you that shot didn't feel very good when it hit him on the top of the head. So here comes the stick. Goaltenders down, and I find it hard to believe that they're going to allow this to be a goal. I, I, I find it hard to believe, but I know that Mike Sullivan probably was pleading his case, saying, "Hey, listen, he may have embellished it, or his stick was being lifted by Lovejoy. That's why it struck Kincaid in the mask. It's not our issue." And as I mentioned, that we saw it just the other night when James Neal had. Has had his stick broken and lifted by Bufflin that struck the goaltender in the mask, Connor Hellebuck, and it was allowed to, the goal was allowed to stand. This is going to be very interesting. So the officials looking at this type of replay here and trying to determine and ask themselves is there a better call to be made? First, it was initially the point as if it was a good goal at the moment, and then after discussing it, they huddled together. And said no goal. Somebody has saw goaltender interference there against Kincaid, and now 
They're going to look at this time and time again, and I wonder if that James Neal situation will play into this at all. They're taking a long time at this, looking at this here. It's not your typical goalie interference play, oh, is it? No, it's because not. Because Kincaid's down. And because of that stick, appeared to be in some pain. Is it 400 or not? After video review, it's been determined that there was goaltender interference. The call on the ice stands. No goal. Pittsburgh fourth and four timeout. And, you know, I think what you said at the end there and makes a lot of sense, and, and that's they called it a goal in the Vegas game. Here they called it a no goal. And what you said was, is there a better call? I don't think there was. And for that reason, they're not going to allow that one to count. And Sidney Crosby stuck on 399. And boy, would that have been a huge goal in this game. So it remains 3-1 with under seven minutes to go in the third period.